Hello and welcome back to another episode of MechWarrior 4 Mercenaries. And in the last episode, we absolutely destroyed the clans on the beach fight with our long tom artillery. Wow, it was way smoother than I ever thought it would be. But we're done with the new expert and we have to move on to another star system. But before we do that, we're just going to pop back to the command center, pop into the mech lab, select repair on all of the mechs we salvaged in the last mission, just so that they are repaired up and ready to rock over the time we get there. Also, I think I want to clear out a few mechs. Because I don't really need some of these mechs anymore. Uh, I have... I have, basically. I'm moving into assaults now. So I think I can clear out... Like, this Vulture, it's only 60 tons. Uh, the, the Tenshi, maybe. These are sort of the ones that are up on the, the chopping block. Uh, the Catapult. The Loki's pretty good, but we have three of them. Uh, so if we get rid of all those, what do I have left? I have the Archer, Marauder, Mauler, Longbow, Huntman, and Daishi. So I have a total of six mechs. So I need eight. Uh, there are a couple that are being repaired. We have a Mad Cat Mark II that is being repaired. Let me just pop back out of here and uh, take a look here. So we have a Nova Cat that's being repaired. So that's another two. So that's our eight, really, that we need. The Nova Cat it would be a, a nice, strong energy and direct fire. Uh, heat generating hardpoint. Oh, a missile or beam. That's cool. Uh, we have the Humpman which will be mine with that oh, ever so glorious long tom. So I think we can drop things like the the Tenshi. It was great while it lasted, the mech was fine, but maybe we'll, we'll move on here from that. We just, we don't need it anymore. We moved into assault mechs and we'll keep the archer. We don't really need to buy anything. We can just sell those off. It's pure profit. Also, we just won't have to pay the upkeep costs while we uh, fly to the next place, which will, will lower our, our, our money we lose, because our per cycle expenses are now a bit lower. But we will not advance time, because it's probably going to take us two weeks to jump to the next place. So what do we have for options? Of course, we have Solaris, which we will do later. I'll probably do that as more like an offshoot series instead of actually with the main playthrough here. But there is Wernke, which it takes three weeks to jump, and Hesperus 2. I think I'm going to go Hesperus 2. Yeah, then we're going to go along the lines of the Davion route, which is, this is the Davion playthrough, so let's go. It'll take two weeks, and we've already set our things to repair, so by the time we get there, we can pop back into the command center here, go into our mech lab, and we can see that all of our mechs are properly repaired. And now we can outfit them and uh, we could get rid of this uh, last Loki if we wanted to. Uh, I might keep it around for now. Let's just pop into the orbital view. See what missions we have. So we got Hesperus 2 Raid or Hesperus 2 Escort. Defend a munitions colony uh, convoy on its route between the Defiance Industries and Rendezvous with Spaceport Security Forces. Oh, this is a Steiner mission, so we're going to go to the, the Davion mission. So let's click into here and hear the mission briefing. I've been contacted by a Merc connection with the Sky Separatists. Defiance Industries, which is Steiner controlled, has several remote munitions plants that the Separatists want destroyed. Pay is top notch for an assault in force. Nice. Well, we're going to get rid of Goblin here. We're going to take in Falcon because she's OP as hell. We'll give her a longbow, because we want some good accuracy out of that. If we land all those uh, LRMs, it would just be devastating. Mauler has no firepower? Interesting. Uh, uh, okay. Why does Mauler have no firepower? Let's go pop into the mech lab and see what's going on here. Did the Mauler get its uh, weapons shot off? I wonder. Oh, what? It, it lost a it lost a laser. But do we really want to take the Mauler in? We want to do something else. We could take the Mad Cat Mark II in. We just need to uh, give it a more appropriate. I don't know what is it. Temperate winter. That would probably be a good uh, 
a good color for our mechs. Let me just quickly re recolorize. Oh, there we go. And then we'll take the longbow because missiles. Because holy crap. Although maybe I want to take uh, one less launcher and more ammo. Possibly. Possibly. Maybe I want to drop a couple of these down. Maybe I want to drop everything down to 15. So let's, let's, let's try that out. What happens when I put everything at 15s? Not only is that just a little bit easier on the weapon itself, you know, only shooting 15 instead of 20 when having the same ammo count, we can do that. Oh, and maybe we can actually put on like a something long range, some sort of laser. Eh, we only got three tons. We could put on an ER large if we peeled off another ton of heat sink, but that makes it pretty heat inefficient. Uh, maxing that out. Probably just... We'll probably put it into speed here in just a moment. Yeah, let's we'll s peel that off the legs and then just put it another bit into speed. Yeah, a little less uh, damage, but a little more sustain. So that's good. Mad Cat Mark II. Longbow, we will give it that Temperate Winter. And then Daishi's in Temperate Winter, that's good. Hopman in Temperate Winter. And what do we have for our last? Probably Mad Cat Mark II, or I could... Yeah, yeah, let's get this thing equipped. What to do on it? Do we have like a pair of clan Gauss rifles? There's only one here. I'd like to get a second clan Gauss rifle if possible. Is it available? Oh yes, two are. Let's buy them. Excellent. Mad Cat Mark II. We put on a pair of clan Gauss. Because that's pretty... Pretty, like that's what this mech does. Uh, I'll max out its armor, of course. Uh, I don't feel like it needs jump jets, but a laser anti-missile system is great for it. And then, what do we do here? Just some energy weapons. Some, like, heavy meds. To not chew up too much tonnage, but give us a good hit. Or some, like, ER larges, maybe. And just, like, a pair of ER large. A pair of Goss, a pair of ER large. It's got nine and a half tons. That should be good. Right? Yeah. And then I can shave off half a ton from the legs. Give it another couple half tons of heat sinks. Yeah, sure. It's good enough. It's good enough for a clanner mech. I think we'll give this one to uh, Falcon because she'll be more comfortable in a clanner. But Scrapper will give the longbow. Everyone's got some amazing accuracy. I'm in my Hulkman because reasons, but I want to change that mech around a bit. I like the Long Tom. We'll keep the Long Tom, but I want to get some longer range stuff. I want the Long Tom to be fun, but I don't want it to be like, I have to land the Long Tom or I'm screwed. So I think I'm going to go with like three ER larges and just pump these heat sinks. Maybe. Oh, that's quite hot. That long time is so hot. What can I do here? Maybe just a bunch of heavy mats? No, but those aren't long range enough. What to put on? Because I also want something I can, like, take out tanks with if needed be. Maybe just streak MRMs. Those work, right? Just a... <laughs> a long tom and... streak MRMs. 
That's nice. Or maybe some sort of rotary something. Or just ultra. Or just a gauze rifle. I don't know. There's so many options. Let's strip out those heat sinks. Let's go with some sort of ballistic. Maybe just like... Uh... How many AC2s can I fit on here? Can I, like, do like, can I do like four AC2s? I probably could. Four AC2s in a <laughs> long tom. I like it. Okay. We're going to save that up. We're going to go buy another AC2 off the market here. Where is that Ultra 2? What? Do they not have an Ultra 2 for me? What? They don't have an Ultra 2 for me. Why don't they have a Clan Ultra 2? So sad. Okay. Um, I guess I'm not doing that. I could do Trip 5s. That'd probably work. Triple Ultra 5s. Maybe put one of them in the head. Yeah, that looks cool. Mm, but the heat efficiency is a lacking. Maybe I'll just do trip twos. I'm, I'm, I'm just so indecisive of what exactly I want on this mech. We'll just do trip twos. We'll give them some additional ammo. So that they never run out. And we'll get some heat efficiency and some speed. And that will be good. Yeah, that's fine. It's, the firepower is low, but that's because long tom. Let's just say all I have to do is just land those long toms and I'll be happy. All right, Long Tom Salinas, let's go. Listen up, people. We're hitting a pair of munitions plants in this range of mountains. Castle anticipates heavy resistance. Give a ready report and go weapons hot. This is Aita. I am prepared. This is Mustang, ready up. This is Crapper, ready up. Things are definitely coming to a head in the Civil War. It won't be long before we have to make a clear choice for Steiner or Davion. I want you to know, sir, on behalf of the command staff, our first loyalty is to you. Where you go, we follow. Thank you, Castle. That's good to know. Things are going to get a lot worse in this war before they get better. Ooh, that's interesting. We've gotten that, uh, that comment at the beginning of a mission now that we're going to have to decide which way we want to go soon. And that's important. That's big. But we're heading off to Nav Alpha. We're trying to long tom somebody from a million miles away. All right. Contact 900 meters. Here we go. Steiner war pig. Uh, can I hit them with my twos from here? I could try to derp a a long tom into them. That seems like a little silly. I want to save my long tom for close range. Although that's even sillier. All right, got that guy. Missile turrets. Oh, turret control tower. Uh, is he outside of my range? No, it's in range. Done. Excellent. Everybody, Roger. Roger. take out that Mad Cat Mark II. Oh, oh, it is okay. Here you go. Present from me to you. Ah, I didn't do as much damage as I thought I would. That's okay. Our allies here are ready to rip him to shreds. Boom. Target destroyed. Excellent. Target destroyed. Yeah. Target destroyed. Close up and form on me. Roger, Spectre. Roger. Understood. Mm, another mad cat. Soon he will die. I have to land Two a very good long tom. Somehow, somehow, land the most amazing long tom. Got a, like 360 no scope long tom. Somebody from across the map. That'll be a that'll be a feat. All right, what are you doing? Are you pushing forward? Are you not? Me? All right, try that. Ah, not far enough. Okay. Need to aim higher or get closer. Or a combination of both. Uh. That. Ah. Ah, hit him. Good. 
At least... Almost. But, oh, they're close enough now. Direct fire! Boom! Go, Long Tom, go. Oh, he fell over. But we'll just finish him off with Ultra 2s. Check fire! You're shooting my friggin' mech! Oh, sorry. You walked into my line of fire. It's all your fault. No, I can't fire my, uh, my Long Tom when people are standing right beside. It's got some, uh... Unintended consequences when that Nine happens. Alpha There's gotta be a turret control here. Yeah, there it is. Shut those turrets down. Now I'm supposed to destroy all the. Ah, warehouses. warehouse is like invincible. Why is it not dying? There we go. Finally, the long tom finishes it off. Destroy all warehouses at Nat Gamma. Eliminate base defenders. There we go. Factory here. Pretty easy mission so far. in front of my mechs. I'm trying to shoot things. There we go. And is there any more? Yeah. The military storage. Shoot this thing up and then we're off to the next waypoint, I believe. Munitions facilities at Alpha yeah. are history. Continuing to beta. Moving along. Yeah. So easy peasy so far, but I think this might be a longer mission. Might uh, require us walking a fair amount. Our allied mechs are, uh, ready to rock. Not too much damage at all on them. A little bit of damage on Scrapper, but it's probably from me. <laughs> and of course, as the AI is OP as hell, we have only taken damage in our CT. But, moving forward here, don't see anybody out in the distance, but our, our camo is perfect for this map. Ah, I, I picked it just perfectly. <laughs> ah, the boring parts. Oh, hello. How's that? Nav point beta reached. Enemy lance coming off the hill at Beta. Look for them. Commander, I show a reinforced demi lance approaching from south of Gamma. Prepare for heavy resistance. Well, the Shadow Cat's getting his ass handed to him. Why are you running up close, Scrapper? You're a long range mech. God, he's such a dumbass. There we go. Excellent. Okay, let's do some range testing here. Let's go to 900 meters. Alright, and then we'll angle up at max angle. And let's see where that lands. Does that land anywhere near our target? It looks like a little to the right. Target destroyed. Uh YOLO? That was perfect! That landed right on target! Ha <laughs> ha! Wow! Okay. That worked out. <laughs> Alright, let's move on these guys. Do a little bit of close range long tomming. I got a guy right beside me, don't I? Yes, I do. Boom. Oh, I missed him. I hit behind him. The thing with the long tom has got such a, a lag to the shot. If I want to hit them directly, I got to... Uh, time it. Down. Excellent. I should probably, you know, like, torso twist a bit better. But it's hard. Boom. Oh, hit him directly. Excellent. He's dead. Uh, let's see. Now. 
Oh, I wish they weren't moving. It would have been perfect if they weren't moving. We'll get to 900 meters away and we'll lob it at this guy. Alright. Incoming long, Tom. Roger. Take the Mad Cat Mark II out. We'll lob that. See if that lands. Oh, didn't look like it did much damage. We gotta experiment, man. We're never gonna learn how far we can lob these things if we don't experiment. Ah, did not enough. I thought I was trying to get it over top there. This guy's down in the valley. We'll give this a little bit of a up and see if we can hit him. Oh, nothing. I'm just trying to do a little bit of indirect fire. Hey, we hit him with that one. And direct fire. Boom. Eat my artillery strikes. <laughs> I love how it just makes their entire mech go red in like one shot. That is the best part of this. Alright, I think I just gotta destroy all these factories. Just start lobbing artillery shells into them. A pretty easy mission. I think this long tom is, uh. It is working out well. Ah, oh, that wasn't far enough. Now point gamma. That one will be. Right into the building. <laughs> I got a weapons factory here. And then I think, yeah, there's a warehouse. I think that's it. Come on, my AC2s. There we go. And then we'll fire off into that factory. Did I shoot over it? I shot over it. That's slightly overheating here. Nope. And come on. there we go. Castle, get TAC ops and salvage in here ASAP. I want to be repaired, loaded, and out of here within six hours. Copy that. TAC ops and salvage en route. Great work, Commander. Well, we can kiss any future contracts with Defiance Industries goodbye. Hope this haul is worth it. Our contact with Victor's liaison has confirmed the raid as successful and released our payment from escrow. Nice to be bringing in the big paydays. We've come a long way. We certainly have, and uh, you can see we lost a lot of uh, stuff with Steiner, but man, we gained a ton with Davion here, plus 11. A little bit of infamy, but we got enough nobility to offset it. But that'll be it for this episode of MechWarrior 4 Mercenaries. Thanks for watching, and good hunting.